Hello, my name's Alan Hutchinson with HTMarket.com. I got my red X-Acto knife. I'm going to start cutting open this box. This is an armless recliner, what we call a 5401 power recliner. I'm going to unbox this seat. What this helps people do is configure love seats and couches because uh, you're able to put this in place between a three set and you got a nice love seat. If you have two of these, you can do a couch, three seat couch with two flanking chairs. I'm just going to start opening this thing up. There you go. You can see that the packaging is pretty solid here. It's a pretty heavy box. It's probably around 90 pounds. I'm going to turn it this way. Seat right here. Yeah, that's the bottom of the seat. There's a uh, there's a bottom and a back. There's the bottom is down here and the back is right here. I'm going to be careful not to cut anything here. When you open these boxes, if you get a curbside delivery, be careful how you cut things. You can easily slice leather with this. And it's very hard to fix when you slice leather. So I'm going to try to get this thing off. All right, so this piece is like screwed. Yeah. Here's our tag label, nice label, HD design. Starting to get out. Believe it or not, I've done this before. Doesn't look like it though. All right, I got it. Well, that's your back. You got the brown, this is the brown leather. And this will slide onto the recline mech down here, these little two slots here. You got this little metal slot, slide that on. I'm gonna put that over here for now. This is the bottom of the armless chair. You know, I'm just gonna pull the box away. So if you got a two or three seats, actually not hard to set up. If you've got like eight or 10 of them, it could take you a while. So the white glove service might be a good service. Again, if you got a lot of seats. But there's a little cost to that. I'm gonna pull the box aside. Over here. What was that? Over there. The plastic off it. This is a muslin bag. Is that in there? Uh, the recline controls, if you come over here, or I meant the controls, but the rails are just covered with these uh, foam things. Put that in the box. There's a setup guide here on how to do it, and then how to release it in case you want to remove the back if you're moving somewhere. So don't throw that away in case you have to move. It's going to be easier to move them if you have the back on. So you can fit these in most doorways. I mean, it's fairly easy, especially in armless chairs. It can fit anywhere. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, basically put the chair around. One thing you want to see here on the side is this is the power recline and lighting button. Right here, you just stick your hand down and you can do the recline. But uh, I'm going to remove the paperwork, plastic. Look at that. All your wiring is down below here. If you see that. And that's your power recline and your cord. So we're going to do that. We're going to set this up. What we're going to do is we're going to put this chair in this three row. And make a row four with love seat. So what we're going to do is just take, move this two arm chair over, over here. We're going to space this out, and we're going to put it in between there. And we're going to make a love seat, four row love seat. 
So I'm Alan Hutchinson with HDMarket.com. I'm gonna put this back down on the ground. And we've got our chair. We're gonna set that up, put the back on. And then we're gonna put it in between these uh, chairs. Alan Hutchinson, HDMarket.com.